Welcome back to the best sports content on planet Earth, gentlemen. In the Wheel of College, we start with an all-silver lineup. A bunch of bums. And each episode, we spin the wheel to build onto this team. Then we hop into an online head-to-head -head game. If we win, we keep those players. If we lose, we're back to square one. Now, of course, the goal is to win the national championship like we just did a few days ago. By the way, sorry, that video got age-restricted. Apparently, you're not allowed to sexually assault the uh, stuffed pumpkin in the back corner of your room. Thought this was America. Truly back to business. The business we have at hand is a $1,000 collegiate trading card pack. The Panini Immaculate. Anytime that I drop 40 points in this entire series, I get to open this bad boy up and add one player to the team. Now on our playoff run last season, I did drop 40 and frankly, the team was too good. So with a little bit of MM cheating, I pushed the box off. The official seal. All right, now the way this works, there's tons of cool cards, but we also need a player that can actually help this team. So I'm gonna let you guys see the very first player of this opening. The least rare card. And I'm seeing Crimson. I think that's Alabama, which makes this a really good start. Tua, Tua Tungavailoa. Hawk, Tua Tungavailoa. 84 of 99, Tua Tungavailoa. Also, gentlemen, I give away every card from these openings. So Tua fans, Dolphins fans. Wait a minute. Where did he play? Uh-oh. Somebody's in trouble. Somebody got in trouble for this card. Look at this. It's a Chris Rodriguez Jr. immaculate gloves. So that's a piece of one of his gloves, right? But look at him himself. Himself. All of his logos have been removed. All the logos on the jersey have been removed. It doesn't show his team on the back. Chris Rodriguez Jr. played college for the Kentucky Wildcats. Okay, well, hey, if you're a Kentucky fan, I've got a, I've got an NPC Chris Rodriguez. That's an interesting one. I don't think he's gonna help the team either. Oh, that's a big boy too, isn't it? That's definitely a big boy. Oh, shit. Oh my God, that's a nasty piece of the jersey too. Jalen Carter, this is a rookie patch auto. Oh my God, Jalen Carter rookie patch auto? It is a sticker auto, which is a little less rare than the auto literally being on the card itself, but this is a nasty card. Jalen Carter has an 87 overall D tackle. This is our best option right now. Oh my God. God, we're pulling. <laughs> Ooh, DJ Turner. DJ Turner, University of Michigan introductions. Rookie card, got the auto, 46 of 99. Dude, I actually, dude, I love this dude. This dude has kind of been a fantasy sleeper this year. That's a gorgeous card too. I think North Carolina just, that's one of my favorite colors of all time, bro. I'm a huge fan of blue. You guys know that. Josh Downs, 96 of 99, North Carolina signature moves. We got the signature Josh Downs. I don't think he has a card though, but a gorgeous one. This is so sick. I literally don't think either of these guys have a card, but this is absolutely nasty. Somebody is gonna be a very, very happy fan. He's a Max Duggan, Quinton Johnson, six of 10, TCU duo autograph. It's too bad they got their shit clapped by Georgia in the natty, cause this would be even cooler. But um, Quinton Johnston, rough first year in the league, a lot better second year. Max Duggan, hometown hero. I will say, these are, dude, these are some of the coolest cards we've gotten. I love these, but I think I only have one option at all. I think my only option is Jalen Carter. So both of our options are SEC, that's Jalen Carter or Tua Tungavailoa. Honestly, having Tua, since like my quarterback right now is a silver, probably is smarter, but in the long run, Jalen Carter is going to be better because Jalen Carter can be the starter right now, and eventually I'll probably get a better D tackle, but then we just bump Jalen Carter to D tackle too. So this is definitely the right call. We're going to get a Georgia Bulldog. Jalen Carter, 6'3", 314 with 83 speed as a D-tackle. It's actually really good. Not going to lie, I was so excited to open that that I did get a little ahead of myself. Every time we make a national championship, we get to prestige one new player. Prestige players are always locked into the lineup and we always get the best version possible. So if you take a look at my offense, you will notice that there are no new players. There is the upgraded Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter got a 92 overall Heisman hopefuls wide receiver. We didn't get to use this at all last season. He's going to be nasty for us this season. 92 speed, 90 jump. We also have our second ever prestige, Tedaroa McMillan. 90 overall, 6 foot 5. He's a dog. I don't know that he's going to get another card. I hope he does get another card. But that remains to be seen. We also have Jonah Monheim at center, our first ever prestige. Hoping he can get a new card as well. And as you take a look at defense, you'll see our prestige player is Manti Teo. It's probably 
probably not a shock to anyone. I was kind of teasing this a lot. Number one, I can infinitely make catfish jokes literally for the rest of the year. That's amazing. But more importantly, Manti Teo is actually incredible. Like, this is one of my favorite cards in the entire game. He's boosted to a 93. He's a 90 speed, 86 change of direction user middle linebacker who gets robber. Robber makes you change directions significantly faster in zone coverage. I love this dude. And the versatility of linebackers is amazing. If we get a better middle linebacker, he can go to MLB 2. If we get a better MLB 2, he can go to any of the outside linebacker positions. Linebackers are great prestigious. I'm very happy with this decision. We've also got Will Johnson, James Pierce Jr., and they finally let you use Travis Hunter on both sides of the ball. So for the first time, I'm rocking both. It's a little OP, but frankly, Travis Hunter in real life is a little OP, so I think it's accurate. Travis Hunter is CB2. He's also wide receiver one. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, gentlemen. This might be one of the most stacked season openers of all time because in the National Championship, not only do we have our 40 bomb, but we also completed our challenge wheel and we forced a rage quit. That I don't think that has ever happened before in the history of Wheel of Mutt or Wheel of College. Now, for completing the challenge wheel, I can open one of any pack in the store and my pack of choice is the senior pack. 477 plus, 380 plus, 183, 187, a ridiculous amount of players to kick off the season and we only get this reward if we complete the challenge wheel. Uh, ooh, that's a great start. That is a great start. Michael Batten. This guy is actually really good. 6'1", 220, 86 speed, 90 excel. That is a great start. He'll look awesome alongside Manti Teo. That might be our best pull in this whole pack, though, because we have 187 plus, and I think that was probably it. Holy shit. Why are these so good? Every time I've opened these. Andy Katzenmoyer. I'll be honest, I don't know who this guy is, but he looks horrifying. 6'4", 260. Yeah, that's MLB 2. Manti Teo's MLB 1. My linebackers are damn near set right now. All right, we've got an 83 strong safety. Nick Emanwari. Grayson Howard. We have four linebackers, ladies and gentlemen. Four linebackers. Keon Martin. And the final player, Oscar Cardenas. We're bringing a little Latino magic to the tight end position. All right, what do we got? We got a Jacksonville State left guard, Clay Webb. We've got Oscar Cardenas. And defensively, we've got more linebackers than we could ever need. Start out with Michael Batten at right outside line backer is this Ohio State monster Andy Katzmore a 6'4 MLB don't mind if I do and our left outside linebacker I'm gonna throw in Tyreen Powell out of Rutgers he is six foot five with 81 speed we also got a strong safety Nick Amonwari dude like look at this lineup we rarely ever get to start with a lineup that's actually like somewhat usable obviously we could pretty much upgrade every single one of these players still but I mean that's gonna help us out a ton we still need a quarterback and a halfback probably the two most important things on the offense but hey I got a left guard Got some defense players. Now, yes, I could spin the Rage Quit Wheel, but I'm not gonna lie, this team's too good. I'm gonna pass it. But there is one more thing that we need to do, and that is spin the team wheel. On this wheel, I have every single team in college football. This will determine our uniforms, our stadium, and most importantly, our playbooks. And this season is going to be... Oh my God, there's so many teams. I think we're gonna be in the teams. Tulane. The Tulane Green Wave. Hey, they're dynasty monsters. I can tell you that. Also, I kind of like the color scheme. Green and light blue is pretty cool. Tulane University is in New Orleans, Louisiana. I was just over there. Now, when we spin the team wheel, we get one team captain. Last season on Ole Miss, that was Trey Harris. I'm kind of worried that uh, Tulane doesn't have any good players at all. I know they had Tyler Grubbs. It's the highest overall Tulane player. So my options are Tyler Grubbs who we had in season one. He was actually really good. That or it's Cairo Santos. Dude, this is actually really good. This is such a lame team captain, but this is actually so good. Cairo Santos, 91 overall kicker. Kickers are so important, dude. He's kind of fast. He's like low-key fast. This is my team captain. All right, we've got Yeoman Stadium. The Tulane Green Wave away and home uniforms. The Tulane Green Wave, it's called a multiple offense. That's what their offense is. I honestly, I don't really know what that means. Just multiple O. And they're Defense is a 3-3-5 tight. Just how I like. Just kidding. Actually, 3-3-5s suck. I'm really hoping they have a 4-D lineman set. If I have to run 3-down lineman the whole season, it's gonna be difficult. There's our team captain, Cairo Santos. I'm not even gonna lie to you. He gets insanely good abilities. He has Mega Leg Gold and Deep Range Silver. Mega Leg Gold gives you a significant chance to avoid the penalty of over kicking. That's crazy. And then Deep Range makes deep kicks 
easier. Cairo Santos is Loki a dog. Two lane legend. Okay, boys. The first episode's always a bit of a yap session, yeah. But we're a 79 overall. It is two lane season. And now we can finally start our wheel spins. Three wheel spins to add on to this team. If we lose the upcoming game, we don't get to keep any of them. The very first wheel spin of two lane season. I'm excited to get some two lane gear. I don't really know what they have, but I'll try it. Oh, what a start. What a start. Oh, what a start, gentlemen. We get to choose one player out of the top 12 on the entire auction house. Now the auction house only populates 200 cards. So it's not every card that's listed right now. It's just the 200 most recent. So it's kind of a luck of the draw, but we don't sort by buy now. We sort by overall. Oh my God, look at these top four options. Dude, these top four all Ohio State. There's Katzenmoyer, we already got him. Caleb Downs I had briefly and he was so good. But Deion Sanders, ah. Okay, we're missing a corner three and we're missing a free safety. So actually my best two options are looking us right in the face. It's Deion Sanders for Caleb Downs. Deion Sanders is unbelievably good, but he can't tackle. He's kind of a tackling liability. If they did give him 80 tackle, that's actually better than they should have given him. They gave him 80 tackle. Caleb Downs is a freak show, but he's lower overall. And Deion Sanders could be my kick returner. Also, I don't have a quarterback. Like, I could go Braxton Miller as my quarterback. I hate, dude, when I was a kid, the first player that I disliked growing up was Braxton Miller. I think we gotta go Prime, bro. This is one of the best cards in the game. Prime time! Dude, and we get Deion Sanders alongside Travis Hunter. Actually, you know what? As you're watching this, I think you've watched my, I think you just watched my Deion Sanders video yesterday, if you're not a casual. I mean, we agree I had to do this, right? He's so good. That's an insane first wheel spin. The only problem is I gotta win the game now to keep him. He'll be my starting corner. Will Johnson will go to two. Travis Hunter will go to three, which, which will move Travis Hunter to my slot corner, which is probably the best. All right, Dion is upgraded to 94. Travis is at three. Will Johnson is at the two. Our first wheel spin gives us literally the best defensive player in the game, but I still don't have a single member of the backfield. So this wheel spin's gotta give me a choice. So, it's the top 12 here and we see exactly who we thought we were gonna see, that's Quinshawn Judkins. So we have Luther Burden, Quinshawn Judkins, Will Johnson, uh, and then Colin Oliver. So we gotta go Quinshawn Judkins here. It's funny with how OP this Quinshawn Judkins is, I never got to use it. We also just won a national championship with Bijan Robinson. Bijan was an 88, so this is action upgrade. I don't think he'll make it all the way to the end of the season. I think I'd like to get a better hat back. There are some crazy hat backs in this game that I really like, but I think he's gonna be an awesome start right now. Ohio State, Quinshawn Judkins. I am gonna give him workhorse slight protection from wear and tear. They did nerf wear and tear, but since I don't have any depth, I kind of need this ability because if, if Quinshawn Judkins gets wear and tear, I've got to put in a silver. That's going to be horrible. Quinshawn Judkins is going to be a, a huge piece of this offense. So let's give him workhorse. That's a great wheel spin right there. Super solid and very core player on this offense. Now he's in a quarterback. Who is going to be your quarterback? If anybody, if nobody, I'm rocking a silver for game one and that would not be fun. Yes. Oh, we're gonna get more. Actually, we're gonna get more. 289s. The 89 quarterbacks, there's not a ton of options. There's Eli Holston out of Pitt, Geno Smith, West Virginia, Alonzo Barnett, James Madison, Sawyer Robertson. Chat, what do you know about Eli Holston? I don't know shit about this guy. 82 speed for the white boy? 6'4", 230 is a B, he's a big one. Solid stats, I wouldn't call them incredible. He's an improviser, that's why I like him. I like a quarterback that can do a little bit of everything. I'm gonna go mobile resistance gold, one of my favorite abilities. Significantly improved ability to resist pressure when on the run. I love throwing a laser beam on the run. So Eli Holston and Quinshawn Judkins in the backfield. On one end, you have a sneaky, athletic, gritty, lunch pail guy. And on the other, you have a guy who I would never let date my daughter. I think that's a good duo. We've upgraded from casual racism to professional racism. Before we hop into this game, we've got the challenge wheel. Challenge wheel is incredibly important, especially on the season opener. And I'll tell you why. Our challenge, this is actually awesome, dude. Our team captain is Cairo Santos and he's kind of fast. 10 plus kicker rushing yards. I can do this however I want. I could do it on like a fake where the kicker has the ball. I could do this where I sub my kicker in at quarterback. There's a million ways I could do this. Oh, uh, but I need 10 plus rushing yards. Now we have a brand new clean slate regular season and the challenge wheel can give me one pack from the store of my choice or if I lose but complete my challenge, I can salvage one player. Oh, 
doing at home? At home with Tulane. This is his top three. Alodi Nada, Jermod McCoy, Marshawn Lynch, and his team name, NMS, No Money Spent. And he's Michigan State. <laughs> he's Michigan State, No Money Spent. And I'm Tulane Mommy Ponder, Mommy's credit card. Guys, dude, I got a fucking email the other day. I got an email the other day that said uh, I was banned for 48 hours from playing because of my username. I don't know if it was Mommy Pounder or Sex Haver. I don't know which one it was, but I'm like on the verge of getting banned on this game. Luckily, I do work with EA this year, so I'm thinking maybe they'll unban me, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm keeping it. I'm not getting rid of this username until they pry it from my cold dead hands. First and 10. We're going pass play first. Oh wait, I've got infinite time. I'm gonna go wide. What the fuck? What? What the fuck? Eli Holston! I knew I should have gone with the black guy. Oh my God, that was a bomb. That was gonna be a 40 yard pass to open this game up. I'm blocking Cardenas, putting T-Mac on the escape in case that's man. Dog. How did you attempt to throw that ball down the field? And that's where it ended up. It is now third and 10 and we've got some serious ground to cover. Oh, Travis Hunter, that's why we got you! Go, Travis Hunter, in his debut! You don't want it! The green wave is in the end zone! Holy shit, the deep dig dominates the man coverage, and the green wave is in the end zone. All right, Eli Holston, he figured it out. Let's just put it that way. I don't know what happened there on that first throw, but he figured it out. And look at that, Cairo Santos. He fair catches here, which I think is really interesting. Okay, now this is where I can like legitimately say Tulane, Tulane playbook's gonna get us in trouble. Look at our defensive formations. We have Mint, Odd 3-4, three, 3-3, three, three. we have Nickel, like we don't have a 4D lineman set. Two D tackles. Wow, that makes Jalen Carter even better, actually. Maybe it makes Jalen Carter better. Ah, shit, I can't get to that. Shut the fuck up! Oh! Fuck! You're sucking my dick in it! There's no way! This is actually the greatest low light of my life. That was the number one low light that's ever occurred to me. He hurled, he MM hurled the fuck out of me. And then I get a hit stick fumble and he ha and he's Michigan State. This is the worst day of my life. I cannot, if I lose this game now, I can't even post it. Well, no, I'm, I have to post it no matter what because it's Wheel of College, but dude, I have to win this game. All right, Tulane offense has Wildcat. Shit, this goes to Justin Beebe. This is a dead play. I still have to run it. I can't burn a timeout right now. Dead play, off rip. Silver Justin Beebe. It's not a dead play. It's a it's a pickup of nine with a silver. Okay, that's important to know though. So in Wildcat, we have Justin Beebe here, and I I can't put oh I can put Clay Russell. We can put the imaginary Clay Russell at at quarterback, so that Quinshawn Judkins gets the football on the jet sweep, and we get excellent blocks. A big joke out of Quinshawn. Yeah, Clay Russell. Clay Russell legacy game. Oh no, T Mac, T Mac, T Mac, T Mac, T Mac. T -Mac. That's good defense. That's a miracle that got from T-Mac! Get the fuck off of him! You like that? You like that? Oh my god, we're taking turns embarrassing each other. What is going on in this game? Holy shit! Dude, my, my favorite thing about T-Mac is he's so big that the truck move actually works. Like, you can never truck as a wide receiver. But that first broken tackle was a truck. The second was a hard juke. He's got the full bag. So wait a minute. I will never this entire season. Oh, Will Johnson. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now! Shit! Too early! Perfect timing! Oh my god, it's 21 to 7! Am I gonna open another immaculate? Give me the 40 bomb. Give me a Tulane Green Wave season opener 40 bomb. Alright, so you know what we gotta do? Like, I like Jalen Carter right now, he's super helpful, but we gotta get a freak show D tackle. We have to get like the best D tackle in the game. Yeah, now he's getting smart. He's handing the ball off. But he got absolutely body bagged by Manti Teo. That's Kenneth Walker. This guy, I respect this guy. He had Kenneth Walker in there on the Michigan State team. He's going to go handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Just kidding. That was Andy Katzenmoyer. I'm full of shit. I dare you. The voices in my head said, I need to give that to me. What is my brother doing? I'm going right back to Wildcat Quinchon Judkins. Clay Russell legacy game. Come on now. Come on, you know where I'm going. You just gotta come find me! I mean, do we really have a choice? We have to go Wildcat reverse jet touch pass. I don't know what the fuck this is. I think this goes to Holston, right? Oh 
my god, that's a touchdown. Oh my god, I got him with the wildcat! Ah! What is going on? What is going on? Two point conversion. Two point conversion. Fuck. Dude, I'm playing the Make-A-Wish kid. This is his last, this is his last game of college football before. <laughs> <laughs> That's so messed up. Do not care. Still gonna whoop your ass for a 40 bomb. Oh, you're a make a wish kid? <gasps> Shut the fuck Don't you showboat, you bitch! Ah! Stop! Look at the score! You're gonna do. I'm getting, that was on Prime, bro. I've cracked the code, gentlemen. All I need to win this game is Wildcat Jet Sweep. I've cracked the code. Oh, can we get him again? First thing you do when you get a new playbook, you find the trick play. Wildcat reverse pass. Can I get him twice? So nice I could get him twice? Ah! Oh my god. Oh! Oh! White Lightning! White Lightning! Eli Holston! I take it back! I got the blackest one! Bro, that was the- Oh my god. I'm out of my mind. Second and six. We're going slip screen. It's so open when he fucking- Oh my god, that's a straight touchdown. Oh, that's not easy. God, I'm so fucking cranked out. Somebody drug test me right now. Get down. Somebody drug test me! I'm on PEDs! What's the PED equivalent for college football 25? Because somebody better come to my house drug test me right now. I'm out of my, god, I'm out of my dick sucking mind. Oh my god. Granted, I am playing a Make-A-Wish kid on his literal last leg. He is coughing and wheezing and praying that he can make it to the end of this game. If he rage quits, it's not a rage quit, it's just that his heart went out. But I tell you what, I'm gonna drop a 40 bomb on this kid. I might drop an 80 bomb and I'll go for two. Dude, the fact that this kid has the balls to showboat on me is making me so mad. He's gonna do it again. He's gonna throw a fucking piss missile on me. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you like that Make-A-Wish kid? Yeah, how's that hospital bed treatment? Buddy. I should have fumbled that. I don't know that I've ever gotten smacked while showboating and not fumbled. An age-old question, gentlemen. Is it 40 bombable? Ooh! Devin Zimmerman, the silver. Single coverage, Travis Hunter. Back corner. Talk to me! Third and one, T-Mac for the easy conversion here. Oh no, Travis Hunter on the dig again. That dig is fucking dead. Ah! We're knocking on the door of a 40-banger! Quick snap behind the user. Ooh. Uh, my offensive line is honestly really bad. I think running the ball is probably the worst thing I could do right now. Okay, they're pressed up tight. I think we go Quinshawn on this table, and he's got to guard that. He's going to be usered on it. Can't. He can't get to Yoink. I, th I think I still have another immaculate box. I need to go get it out. It kind of looks like he's going to play this out. Let's go for 80. This would be a really good time to learn this playbook for when I have a really tough opponent. Because when I have a really tough opponent, there's no way I'm doing half of this shit. Cardenas. Wow, back, to, have you guys ever gotten back-to-back -back Immaculate Boxes before? I don't think so. Uh-oh, 21's actually really open and I'm on fucking Quandale Dingle, this bum. Yes! Yes! Oh my God, that guy's so slow. McKinney is such a liability. Um, I don't know how to guard this. I have to man it up. Go 87. Yup, 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 yup. What the? Ooh, nice! Yeah, I have to man this up because if I don't, he'll just pick wherever McKinney's not. All right, I'm gonna go Manti Teo on 21. Corner out, it's not open. I uh, dare you. Jalen Carter, you know, his offense really isn't that bad. It's just his defense is atrocious. Okay, there's a handoff up the middle. Oh, 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 Jesus. I don't think he runs the ball again, do you? In the green wave unis. Come on now, he's tingling. He's fucking tingling. Get up there, get up there. Oh, good play. Not good enough. No, you are not. It's a fake. What? Dude, I still don't have my kicker rushing yards. We gotta get this this little bum Cairo Santos in there and figure this out. It's literally career mode, bro. This is literally career mode. I'm gonna man press you. It's good defense. Okay, tell me why the camera angle's like that. So tell me why you're so good. Wow, you have Desmond Howard on your Michigan State team? You're a fraud. Hand off, Marshawn cuts it. Wow. Like, that's a, that's a really good cutback. His offense is not bad. Just can't play defense to save his life. This is why this this is why this is why defensive formation sucks. Like, how do you stop the run if you don't have four down linemen? He's gonna go Marshawn. 
Well, he put up three super simple, and then he put up another seven super simple. So all of a sudden, it's a two possession game. Do you think he bites on the read option? We just get some yards with, uh... Actually, let's just hand this off first and foremost. Even if the read's not there, let's hand it off. We just gotta get everybody to clear out here so that we can step up and scramble. Okay, double team right in the middle. Perfect. Cairo, Cairo, Cairo. But I lost yards earlier. Shit. So I need one more yard. Keeping it. Fuck. Cairo Santos, legacy scramble. I might just throw it. Can I throw it with him? What would happen if I threw the ball? I'm gonna throw it. Fuck it. <gasps> Santos! What a ball! Kickers are people too! That was literally a helicopter. That thing was a fucking Apache. That thing was wobbling. Okay, he's got a QB. You have a QB spy on Cairo Santos. Step outside! Let's go! Cairo Santos has like 19 rushing yards now. You know what, fuck it, I'm gonna close out this drive. Come on then, you don't want the smoke gorgeous? Get the pitch off. Oh my God. Cairo Santos, have my children. Have my children. I'm serious, dude. Actually impregnate me. Oh my God. Cairo Santos legacy drive isn't over yet. Quinchon, Quinchon, you gotta clear, you gotta clear, you gotta clear. Boom, Santos! Santos, how the fuck are you? Cairo! That's the two-lane green wave captain! Look at him pointing! Look at Cairo! One more time, brother man. One more time. Cairo Santos, two-point conversion for the 50 burger. Good. Roll left. Cairo. Inside a boss! Cairo! Get the fuck out of here! What is wrong with you? And then he goes and kicks off. After mounting a legacy drive down the field, he goes and kicks off. 50 burger. This my, my, my buddy old pal here is learning the hard way. You don't fuck around in these streets. I dare you to hand that ball off. You're so bagged if you do. Throw 87. Dude, I completed like, I completed like probably 90% of the challenges on the challenge wheel today. Like I could literally go through the challenge wheel and just look at all of them and I swear I've completed. Oh no, I'm on Quandale Dingle. I'm in big, big, big trouble. Okay, this is okay. Go out of bounds, you're scared. Honestly, I think these defenses are gonna get us in a lot of trouble when we get into a big game. Having only access to 335 when we're playing the, with the big boys, I, I think we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Don't throw that dude. He's not gonna throw it. Like, like, look at that. That's a great throw, and he switches on to the wide receiver to come drag the feet. Like, like that's a relatively high-level play. And yet, on defense, he is getting dotted up by Cairo Santos. That's fucking ball, buddy. That's something deep. Big time. Oh, pitch it. Prime. Ah. Deion Sanders gets his revenge. A little interception there. And now, um, let's close this game. Let's see what Quinshawn Judkins got up his sleeve. Stretch right. Yeah, like Quinchon has three touchdowns. That's a hat trick one player. There's a there's a challenge right there. How about yards per carry? I've got that. Quinchon's got like fucking 12 yards of carry right now. He also has a fumble. I was doing too much yapping. Second and 12. I am determined to lurk this man like this. Come on, man, Titeo. Look at him. He's fucking itching. He wants to blow somebody up. Oh, I dare you to try. Ah! Did I just fumble again? Dude, the last two times I've touched the football, I've fumbled. Imagine if this was a close game. I would be riding in the streets. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'll rock this camera angle. This is kind of weird, but let's rock it. Dude, like, imagine if this was a close game. I, like, I, I challenge you to find a higher scoring game, though. And he's not even onside kicking. You're smart, you won't. Oh my <laughs> Quinch, I just got tackled in the tunnel. What's going on? Dude, what is going on? Ooh, teammate! <laughs> this is just a fucking clown fest. This is this has been a circus. Oh, hello. What the fuck? Dude, I don't want to be here. What the fuck is going on? Oh, Cairo Santos is on. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do I mean, uh-oh? I mean, dot is what I mean. That was Cairo fucking Santos! I swear, if one of my good players ever misses a throw again, I'm the riot in the streets. Cairo Santos is throwing a perfect game. What do I mean, one of my good players? This is my best player. No time left. Cairo Santos. To end it all. Cairo! 
That's like probably his only incompletion. 58 to 37. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a season opener. Player of the game? You're full of shit. Player of the game is Cairo motherfucking Santos. Learn his name. You don't know shit. Quinshawn Bumkins doesn't hold a torch to Cairo the Goat Santos. There's not a ya boy pizza, Bordeaux, TD Barrett video on planet Earth that comes even close to what you just witnessed. Let's just be real. Holy shit. 540 yards of total offense, nine rushes for 67 yards, 24 yards per pass, seven passing touchdowns, 473 passes. Eli Holston, eight for 11 and five touchdowns, zero interceptions. Cairo Santos, four for five, 125 yards and two touchdowns. Clay Russell, three for 346. Quinchon Jones. Judkins, one for one, nine. Rushing, Cairo Santos, four for 19. Judkins, four for 44. Eli Holston, one for four. Receiving, Quinchon Judkins, okay, holy shit. Yeah, maybe he does deserve playing. Eight for 231 and four. Trav at three for 133 and one. McMillan, two for 62 and one. CJ Dupree, one for 29 and one. Devin Zimmerman and Justin Beebe tacking on nine yards themselves. Defensively, no sacks. An interception out of prime time. Travis Hunter, Tyreen Powell, and Will Johnson. A Force fumble out of Will Johnson and a touchdown. Will Johnson, definitely one of our best defensive players today. Will Johnson was cooking. My opponent knew in the first quarter he was not winning that game. I love you. Terror Noctis, you forever have a place in my heart. We completed our challenge, which means we get one pack of our choice from the store. Do we want to switch it up? Rivals would give us a choice of one of 287 plus. I actually like that better. Yeah, this is a little bit riskier, but I think it's boom, it's kind of boomer bust. We have a better chance at a really good player. So I'm gonna go Rivals Fantasy Pack. I don't know much about this promo. George Fitzpatrick. Patrick, that's actually an upgrade, so that's already a good start. You are not an upgrade. You don't know shit about Cairo Santos, Chase Meyer. That is technically an upgrade. Okay, so Fitzpatrick and Clark, that's a good start. Now these are 87 plus, it's guaranteed, looking for an 89 or better. Remember the start of the video when I said white people got something right? and they named their kids like John. John Avosky Shuglin Oglenbogler. What the fuck? I think if I really was trying this, I would say it's Javensky Schlenbaker. It's like a super Swedish name. You don't look Swedish, my friend. What do I fucking know? First one. Ooh, Anthony Wilson's probably the play here. We take Anthony Wilson, we get a Mountaineer on this lineup, and then uh, Javensky Schlaben Globen can be Gleben Fleben in Sweden. Woo! Gentlemen, what a game. Yeah, absolutely giga insane season opener, and you're getting back to back. So if you weren't satisfied with the immaculate opening today, just wait till Sunday, cause you get uno mas, por favor. Oscar Cardenas taught me that. Okay, I love you, you're so handsome, and if you didn't enjoy this episode, dude, I can't fucking help your brain rotted ass, attention deficit brain, cause this was such a heater. I love you, have a spectacular day. Peace.